welcome to my channel if you are an existing subscriber i appreciate your support and if you have not subscribed yet or you are new what are you waiting for not only do you need to subscribe to my channel but you need to click the notification bell because this channel is going to be lit okay i don't even know if they still saying that you can tell i'm old but it's going to be so much fun y'all so subscribe to my channel okay and then click that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload you won't regret it i promise you okay so today's video is going to be all about how i um it's gonna be a vlog okay so it's all about what i did to prep for father's day so it's a two-day series um this is going to be my saturday and sunday somewhat um and i did some barbecuing so i'm going to share some of my barbecuing secrets yes yes your girl is the grill master i am the one who gets out there on the grill so let me tell you what i do my secrets to making some tender juicy delicious chicken ribs burgers hot links polishes you named it i damn near cooked it okay um and then for size we had healthy items we had um zucchini and corn okay um, because we had so much meat i didn't want to really you know have a bunch of like um starches we did have some coleslaw and potato salad so we did have some potatoes and potato salad um but we had some healthy items too so we had corn and zucchini but let me let me tell you how I prepped for this day. And I also did a little shopping. So, okay. <laughs> I had to run out to get some last minute items that I did not get um, to cook with. Um, but, of course, when you go out, you have to stop at other places. So, I stopped, like, at Family Dollar. Some random places. I stopped at Family Dollar. And I saw some 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 neat stuff in there. So, I'm going to share that with you. Um, and then, of course, I went to Trader Joe's to get some of my um, vegetables. Um, and I took some video while i was there so this is gonna be a true vlog i took some video while i was there um to show you how affordable the vegetables are at trader joe's because i don't think people believe me when i tell them like okay trader joe's is the place to go for affordable vegetables and like just a bunch of stuff like i got cereal their peanut butter is cheaper than like jewel like surprisingly and it's like either organic or all natural you know it's, it's not a bunch of processed stuff and it's affordable stuff so i took some snapshots and some videos um, of my visit to Trader Joe's and then I think I went one other place but but just stay tuned you're gonna enjoy this video okay. good morning happy Saturday I just woke up I just put some clothes that I had washed in the middle of the night yes I wake up in the middle of the night and I wash just put some clothes in the dryer so my husband can have some um, clothes for work and then so did I tell you it was 6 30 in the morning right now and now I'm outside. I'm about to clean my grill because I'm going to be grilling on Father's Day. And then this is going to be a true blog today, y'all. Not blog, vlog. I'm tired. It's going to be a true blog. I've already had a donut. I probably should have ate some um, fruit. <laughs> but I had a donut. I had one of the plain donuts. Love plain donuts. So good. Those old fashioned plain donuts okay um so i ate one of those and now i'm about to go clean this grill but i'm gonna take you with me shopping today because i need to go pick up some things from trader joe's just want to show you how affordable the vegetables are at trader joe's because sometimes when i post stuff on facebook so that you can get your deal your sale i don't think people always believe me so i'm gonna share it with youtube and then i'm gonna share this video on facebook you know so you can see what great deals they have in trader joe's and I may need to stop in Mariano's and Jewel's too. Or Jewel. If you're from Chicago, you say Jewel's. Okay? Um, but Jewel too. Um, so, let me get out here and clean up this grill. Get my life. As you can see, I don't have as many. Okay, my eyes. No, don't look at my face. I need to clean it up. Uh, <laughs> but I was going to say, some of my bags went away because I actually got a little bit of sleep last night. Even though I got up to wash and then got up early this morning to put the clothes in the dryer to get my day started but it's going to be a scorcher today in chicago so i'm up early getting out here trying to get my yard in order for this little barbecue for father's day um and i thought i was gonna have to water um my little garden area and all my little plants out here but i didn't because nature took care of that for me last night or we hours in the morning so let me show you 
Okay, guys, there is nothing more relaxing to me than coming out in my yard and checking out my um, decor, my yard decor, my little babies, making sure they are okay. They bring me so much happiness in the morning. I absolutely love, 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 love gardening, planting flowers, watching them bloom, watching them grow. It just brings me so much joy in the morning to see what changes has been made. Um, and I do this from the start of spring when things first start to um, bloom or pop up or turn green all the way until everything is dead. I love coming out in my yard. Um, so this is what brings me joy. Why don't you drop in the comments what brings you joy early in the morning? I know everybody has their own thing. Um, so leave it in the comments. Let me know what you do early in the morning that brings you some joy. And as you can see, <laughs> as much as I stalk my uh, plants, my babies, even in my videos, I show you guys in almost majority of my videos, my babies, how much I love coming out of my yard and um, gardening. I guess I have that green thumb. Hey, y'all. So now I got um, the flowers that gave me some joy. I didn't have my little energy um, drink, my crystal light energy drink. I didn't have my donut. And have cleaned the grill. I still got to clean the grape part, but I'm letting that one um, marinate with some oven cleaner. Um, so, of course, it wouldn't be right if I didn't make my day complicated. I remembered I had this old chair. And I'm like... Why don't I repurpose the chair on today and spray paint it, clean it up, spray paint it. And then I saw um, a little flower stand that I had in the back that was just doing nothing at the moment because I had had it last year or whatever for a flower that I had on it. And I was like, why don't I make that into a table? Hmm. Okay, so I made a whole nother project aside from me cleaning the grill and having to run to the store. I made a whole nother project for myself. So let me show you the table and the chair that I'm going to do a DIY on and and I'm gonna do a DIY video too I'm gonna share with you guys yes I am okay so here's the old chair and the old flower stand that I'm going to do this DIY project on I am going to bring some life back into that chair and I am going to turn that flower stand into a table you just check out the video. If you don't believe me, I'll make a believer out of you. Okay, guys. So now I didn't halfway clean the grill because I got to still clean the, the um, grate part, the actual grill part. Um, I didn't clean this table and this, uh, well, not table, this um, flower stand and uh, this chair. I didn't spray painted the chair already. Okay. So now let me get myself in the kitchen so I can marinate this meat because I want this meat to marinate for at least 24 hours, if not more. Okay. So let me get in there and marinate this meat. So let me show you my marinated meat. Okay, guys, so here's one of my secrets to good, delicious barbecue is making sure you season your meat to perfection or how to your liking. There is nothing worse than having unseasoned meat that you have to use the barbecue sauce as a requirement versus a condiment. Barbecue sauce should be your condiment. Your meat should be seasoned to the point where you can eat it with or without barbecue sauce. That is my first secret that I'm sharing with you. Now I got this meat marinade. Now I got to drop these kids off because I'm not taking them to the store with me. Because I'm be begging for stuff. They're going to be talking about I'm ready to go. Especially the boys. Oh my gosh. When I take the boys shopping with me, it is like a chore. It's not even fun no more because they complain the whole... Before we even... Before we even take off the block, Ma, how many stores you going to? Ma, I don't want to go to the store. Just drop me off in my grandma's house. Your grandma don't want to watch you all the time. She tired. Y'all done made her tired. She don't want to keep you all the time. But guess who babysitting them? And grandma and grandpa. Okay, so I'm about to go drop them kids off. Okay, so I can get out here in these streets and get in these stores and show you some deals up in Trader Joe's. Okay, watch me drop the kids off. Bye, kids. I'll see you in a little bit. Woohoo! I'm about to hit them streets. I'm about to hit them streets. Now I'm just playing, but let me take you to the first store. Okay, guys, so the first store that I hit up was Family Dollar. 
look at this decor y'all and it's in family dollar it's cheap it's cute it's things that you can add to your yard to add a little bit of um some sort of summer um splash to your backyard and it's so cheap so if you decided to buy it for this year and wanted to change out your look for next year, you won't even feel guilty because you pay little or nothing for it. Um, I mean, they have ladders uh, that you could put fake candles in. I mean, it's just stuff is just cute from the family dollar. Who would have ever thought? I know I wouldn't have never thought. Um, so I'm super surprised. I know I'm not buying anything today from the family dollar but when i do come back to the family dollar and i pick up some items not only am i going to show you everything that i haul i'm going to show you how i am going to use it how i'm going to utilize the items from the family dollar because this stuff is freaking cute okay freaking cute at the family dollar really really cheap affordable stuff so if you don't want to spend a lot of money or can't spend a lot of money go to your local family dollar store and and definitely check out their seasonal um, aisles. I promise you, you won't be disappointed in the summer decor. Very, very cute stuff. Very, very affordable. And if you have already found some great pieces from the Family Dollar, uh, please share it in the comments what you bought and how you are using it because I am completely shook at what they have here and just how affordable everything is freaking cute stuff can't wait to buy it can't wait to show you all how i am going to utilize it that video is going to be so much fun okay y'all so the next store that i went to was target and oh my goodness all of the material or products that they had on clearance was crazy all of the home decor the things that i love they had it on clearance and of course i didn't buy any because if i did I would have had some splaining to do. I would have been Lucy and my husband would have been Ricky and I would have had some splaining to do for buying some home decor on the day that I was just going out to buy some groceries for barbecuing. Okay, but look at this decor, y'all. I mean, they had so many pieces on clearance and I'm assuming it's because they're going to bring in some new items. Um, so y'all need to go and go get them clearance items um, because the stuff is freaking cute and very dirt cheap you know it's almost like going to ross or marshall's the prices of some of the items in there and they were good pieces nice sturdy pieces okay y'all need to check out target and they clearance sales that they got going on now and so the last store that i went into was trader joe's y'all look at these sales i absolutely love trader joe's so you know i got me some cereal you know i had to get that cereal because it's such a reasonable price and the stuff is you know pretty good for the kids it's not overly processed um it has no artificial things in it even the shampoo and the conditioner is cheap at trader joe's I get my shampoo and conditioner from Trader Joe's. I get my hand lotion from Trader Joe's. I get all of my frozen vegetables now at Trader Joe's. I don't shop anywhere else for my frozen vegetables. You can't beat these prices. 99 cents for Brussels sprouts. Are you kidding me? That is such a great deal. So let me know if you shop at Trader Joe's and what are some of your favorite items if you do shop at Trader Joe's. I know I love hitting up my Trader Joe's to get my good deals. And if you know a place that has cheaper frozen vegetables than Trader Joe's, please let me know. Cheaper than 99 cents a bag for Brussels sprouts, let me know. Hey, y'all. So while I was out at Trader Joe's, I get this message from one of my girlfriends that I've been knowing since kindergarten. Like, we've been friends since kindergarten. Was there for her first birth and everything in the delivery room. That's how close we are. We're like sisters, okay? So um, I get a message. She was like, you still coming to my baby's birthday party? I was like, hmm what okay i don't know what i was thinking but it had completely slipped my mind um i've been going through a lot this past month or whatever so my hand has been all over the place so i forgot it completely slipped my mind um i looked at the date i'm like oh my gosh it is the 16th and i need to you know I rsvp for this party now imagine when i had rsvp for the party my intentions was to have my parents keep the boys because this is a party for a two-year-old so i was just gonna take my um youngest daughter so i didn't set that up okay so i was like 
I have to go to this party. I don't want to be, you know, have RSVP and she didn't pay, pay for a spot for my daughter and not go. But I don't have a sitter. So I sent her a message back. I was like, well, I'm going to have to bring my older kids with me. And, you know, my bonus daughter is here with me for the summer. So she's coming too. So that's going to be four kids all together. You know, like I completely forgot, you know, I got lost track of time and dates and whatnot or whatever you know she know i've been going through a lot so she was like girl don't worry bring the kids bring all of them she was like worst case scenario um i may just have to pay for the kids um some tickets to get in the jumping jack thing and i was like well you don't have to worry about paying for anything because i'm bringing them you know they don't have to participate luckily though luckily though um, when we got there, they didn't have to pay for anything. I didn't have to pay for anything. It was enough tickets for all the kids. They had a good time. So let me show you uh, my babies. Okay, guys, my kids had such a good time at this party. They had so much fun. I'm glad that we went. Even though it had completely slipped my mind, I'm so glad she reminded me, and I'm glad that we went because it was such a good time. And, you know, it's just good to get your kids out the house and reconnect with your friends and have them meet your friends, kids. It's just a good thing. So it was good. Okay, good morning. Um, it's actually Father's Day. And it is 7.30. And I had set my alarm for 6.30 so that I can get up and start grilling. But that obviously didn't happen because at 6.30, I press snooze and then I guess that's all she wrote. And now I'm up and it is going to be a whopping almost 100 degrees in Chicago today. Um, it is almost 90 degrees already and it's wee hours in the morning. Um, and I haven't even started the grill up. So that is what I'm about to do on this Father's Day. I'm out here in my holy pants. <laughs> in my bleach stay shirt. Because I know I'm going to get it nasty. But that is okay. Because I'm going to clean up later. And be cute. Um, but for now. First of all I need to go get me some energy something. And I'm trying out this new Starbucks energy packs that I saw in Starbucks. And the crazy part about it is that you get like five almost ten servings because you get five packs and there's two servings in each pack. Um in the the container is like only five bucks. But if you buy the one drink in the store it's more than five bucks. So I'm wondering if it's as strong as the drink in the store and if it is, I'll let you guys know. If it is, I'm only going to buy that going forward. Why spend five dollars for one drink for one day? that they have already prepared for you when I can just buy the packs and throw it in some water. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about um, right now. Okay, guys. Those refreshers are disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not sweet at all. I think it has, like, some cane sugar in it and some um, all-natural, like, grape juice. But I don't think the grape juice is sweet. I don't know what kind of grapes they use, but um, it's not good. I don't feel energetic yet, and I drank the whole pack. I'm going to drink another pack and see what happens, um, probably in an hour, because I don't want to, in case it kicks in slowly. It's like guzzled it down because it's so gross. It's not anything like the refreshers you get at Starbucks where you like sipping and enjoying your day and like yes no these things are disgusting okay so I'm about to go light this grill get it started and then probably in an hour I'll drink another one if I don't feel energetic yet okay guys so I lit the grill I always light the grill usually my husband will clean the grill so I didn't even realize how hard it was gonna be to clean this grill and we got a real old grill we need to get us a new one. And we got this old grill. And I lit the grill. And the first meat that I always start off with when I grill, y'all, is the chicken. If I'm cooking chicken, and that's because chicken is a little more forgiving, in my opinion. So you're able to find your hot spots and your low spots, your not-so-hot spots with the chicken. And able to quickly adjust 
Um, so if you get like a little charred part on your chicken, it's not as bad as if you get charred on your hot dog, you know. So I always try to find my hot spots and my low spots with my chicken because chicken is a little more forgiving. But that's just my my grilling experience. That's how I grill. I always start off with my chicken and then I cook my hot dogs and my hot links next. And then I throw my ribs out there and my hamburgers are usually the last thing that I put on the grill. Oh, my vegetables are usually the last thing. And then I'll throw my hamburgers burgers out there and then put my vegetables and as you can see I don't have a bunch of fancy equipment I just use my fork and I get to that grill and I know some people don't like to use a fork because they don't want to puncture their meat because they think they're going to lose all their juice I never have that issue all of my meat is usually always very juicy um, even though I use a fork and not necessarily tongs um, but yeah this is how I grill y'all and I cooked some chicken some high links some bratwurst some uh, sausages polishes um and like i said corn i had the chicken of course and hamburgers because my husband loves hamburgers and the food turned out to be nice tender juicy delicious the corn was excellent because i got the super sweet baby corn really really good and i even cut up some zucchinis and cooked them Okay, guys, so this is my original king and my original queen. This is my father, the head of the household I grew up in, the one who raised me to be the woman that I am today. And this is my current king, the king of my current household, my loving husband. I love him so much. He is one of the greatest fathers outside of my dad. Hey guys, so Father's Day 2018 was definitely a success. My father and my husband enjoyed the food. Um, so kudos to the grill master. Um, and I love them to pieces. They are not only the best fathers um, to their kids, but they are just exceptionally great men in general. Um, I have been so fortunate in my life to have come across my wonderful husband. I love him with my whole entire heart. Um, in fact, he reminds me a lot of my father in that he is very generous and has a very warm heart. Um, and he just he loves his kids to pieces. So I celebrate both of these men because my father has been just everything to me. Um, so I celebrate both of these men and I got out there in that 95 degree weather um, and I cooked for them and I grilled for them and I tried to do it to perfection as much as I possibly could. Um, and I would do it again in a heartbeat because i love them that much so this video is dedicated to um all of the fathers have a very happy father's day um and, and especially to my papa and to my hubby i love you guys so very much and i hope you all really enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. And to all my existing subscribers, I really, really appreciate your support. And if you are a woman, tell that special father in your life, whether it be your father, your husband, your uncle, whoever it is, happy Father's Day on my behalf. And if you are a dad or play a fatherly-like role, happy Father's Day to you too. And I will talk to you all tomorrow.